Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing it a little bit different today because I have purchased from a new brand, well not a new brand, but like a new brand on my channel that I've never tried before. And the parcels came yesterday, so I've got one bag here and then I've got another big box. So I can't remember how much I spent, I think it might be like five or six hundred and then I had like a good discount where I got a lot of money off. This brand is Club L London and I'm pretty sure they contacted me in the past to work with me but I don't think at the time they had like tons for me to choose from and I came across them yesterday, I think I was just, no, Tuesday, I was just like browsing, I don't know if it was a sponsored ad or it just cropped up somewhere so I was like okay let me have a look and they have such nice stuff on their website and they go from a size 4, I think either a 4 or a 6 UK size to a 20. Now not all items go up to a 20 but there are like a good selection of items that go up to that size. The vibes it kind of gave me was like Opoly vibes um, where the things looks very like classy and elegant and like you know stuff for any occasion and then they do have like some casual wear. I'm literally gonna unbox this with you, try it on, give you like my thoughts and opinions here and now kind of thing because obviously a lot of my hauls I try the clothes on beforehand and I get like an idea of what I'm gonna say and like what I think. Without further ado let's just get straight into the haul. Right, my hair's a bit messy today, but that's fine. So I'm gonna start off with the box. Now I need to open this in a nice way, but the box is a bit like coming undone. Woo Give you guys a sneak peek. They must have never had a box big enough for all this stuff. So uh, yeah, you can see some of the colors. So let's see what we've got. Right, I'm thinking, shall I try on this little cohort set first? And see what we think. Okay guys, so we have our very first fail. So I picked both of these items up in a size 16. Uh, the crop blazer is 52 and the skirt is 40. Now, personally, I would not say like quality wise, it's worth that. And as you can see, it has no stretch. I'm like basically exposed. Yeah, this is just a big fat fail for me. This is a no. Color is gorgeous. Looked really nice on the model. There's no stretch. I would probably need like a good size 20 if not plus because I don't see an 18 fit in either. Right, so I put my bottoms back on because I can't be dealing with that now. This blazer, way too tight. I've got like barely any room. It's so tight on my arms. And I think the length of it is, I would probably like it a little bit longer just for personal preference. But yeah, quality wise, I would not say it is worth the price. This is yeah, I don't really like this one at all. <laughs> so next we're going for the Letitia Red Halter Neck Rouge Dress. It's size 16, 44 pounds. Now, I am concerned that half this stuff is not gonna fit. Oh, my fit, we've got some stretch. Let's put it on. Okay guys, we have something that fits. This is stunning. I've tried on a lot of ruched dresses. I really love them. I think they're super fair on all figure shades, but especially obviously curvy and hourglass. Um, I will say that it does feel like a bit more looser, especially on the top half. I don't have like huge boobs. And I feel like typically if you are a bigger size, you have bigger boobs, but I feel like I'm in proportion, but yeah. So it's a nice halter neck. It does a clasp around the back. It is nice and double lined. You're not gonna get any see-through issues. It does have the ruching down the side and then all down the front. I did find like the back a bit loose. And then if you can see, it does clasp at the back. This is a little bit looser as well. Um, but yeah, it's a great fit overall. Very roomy, very stretchy. Was concerned it weren't gonna fit, but I absolutely love red. So that's why I kind of picked up this color and they do have a few other colors and patterns and prints. So definitely check them out if you like this style dress, um, but maybe not particularly this color. And we've got a bit of a fail here. So this one, oh, I haven't done the buttons up on the sleeve. But this one is the True Romance Bottle Green Satin Plunge Neck Midi Dress with Belt, size 16, 60 pounds. Now, I'm kind of trying some style dresses that I don't normally try. Now, this looks so much better on the model. I'm gonna insert what the model looks like here. I don't feel like it's very flattering on my figure shape. Um, I'm not one for deep neckline, so um, it didn't look too bad in the picture, but I thought maybe I could like pin it, which I would normally do anyway. 
the colour's gorgeous, the material's nice, but it does kind of give me a little bit of cheap vibes again. It does have a belt in the middle, which I like because you can cinch in your waist and show off your shape a bit more, but this is so stretched, like, one bit of wind, one bit of movement, you see them and Nick knocks. So yeah, that's not good, but I think once I've done the buttons up, the sleeves would be fine, they wouldn't be too long. Again, it's a nice length, it's just too split apart here, bit too much there for me um, and you actually have pockets which is quite nice. If I turn around the back is very nice because it's an open back it does have a little button at the top and then um, a zip a hidden zip that you can do up which I haven't completely done up to be honest um, it's nearly there it's just a bit hard when you're by yourself um, but again the length is great just a little bit all here for me which is a bit of a no-go for £60 again a little bit pricey. Oh guys I'm not gonna lie getting some of these on by yourself is a mission like how am I supposed to do the zip up on this one right we finally have it on so this is the feeling good plunge neck corset midi dress 16 again 52 pounds and again looks really nice on the model I love this top section it's actually way better than I thought it's gonna be so I'll come a bit closer so it's nice thick straps I love this detailing here and then I do have a little bit of cleavage without a bra which is good and then we have like this nice corset detailing. It's not too much, but it's nice and structured, but again, not overbearing. It does cinch me in well, but I'm not sure if the fit is just a little bit off. It's like got some stretch to it. It's a bit tight and not as roomy. I'm definitely gonna get chafing if I get hot and sweaty. The fire's gonna rub, um, but I do love this top half. I think it's super flattering. And I think it'd be really nice if they did it in like a top version. The turn around, you can see the back, a nice hidden zip bit of a struggle to do on your own but you'd get there um i'm not sure is there a split yeah there's a split in the back of it oh that's the full length perfect length to turn around you can see the back maybe the fit's a little bit awkward but yeah overall it's pretty decent we have some well i was gonna say color but we have something that's nice and bold so this is the late night black floral print asymmetric one shoulder roost ruched midi dress that's quite long 16 again 44 pounds this one's a little bit tighter than the red ruched dress for a size 16 but yeah it fits well we've got a nice thick one shoulder strap it's not really like falling or loose here ruching all down the front down the sides it is double lined but i do feel like the black is a bit stretched so it kind of doesn't look opaque as it should or could be. A step back, you've got a nice sort of like asymmetric split. Not too much on show, very nice and classy. I think like it's got the right points on show for my figure shape and what I like showing off. Turn around, that's what the back looks like. So there's no zip on this one, you just kind of like squeeze it on. But like I said, it is a little bit tighter than the red one, but not too bad. I don't know how stretched it is from behind because my hips are stretching out the material a bit, but Hopefully it's not too bad, but yeah, I just think the black could be a bit like darker or more opaque. Yeah, again, a great fit overall. I don't think the price is too bad. It's very nice for like a date night or maybe like a wedding potentially. Nice dress overall, nice fit. So this is the Bombshell Pink High Neck Rouge Maxi Dress, Bubblegum Pink, 52 pounds, size 16. And yeah, I'll come forward so you guys can see. I love this top part super flattering very different really nice neckline i like the straps it's just super flattering up here i absolutely love it i love like the shimmery slinky pink material i love the color i just don't know how i feel about like here because i think the seams are so thick that it's kind of given instead of like me going like a nice curvy shape it kind of goes like down like a bit boxy like, if you know what i mean boxy around here and i don't know if this kind of design flat bit in the middle is doing it for me or if it's making it look a bit weird, I'm not sure, but this top part is so nice. Fits very well, there's a lot of stretch, it's double lined, it's a nice comfortable material. You won't be able to see, but there is like a hidden zip that kind of goes part of the way, but I could just slip it on so that's not a problem. Um, I don't know how flattering it is on the cellulite. I look in the mirror. It's not doing a bad job of hiding it, but I can sort of see some cellulite. There is a nice slit. 
Um, so it kind of gives you a little bit more movement to be fair. It is a great limb because it comes right down to my ankles, pair it with some nice heels. I've just got some really nice pink heels that would look gorgeous with this. But yeah, I really love it. It's just a shame about like this seam here and maybe this detailing. Let me know what you think. I'm yeah, this one is a big fat no. So this is the My Lady Emerald Green Strapless Bodycon Rouge Mesh Midi Dress. Why are these names so long? Size 16, 44. And these are the Anastas Anastasia Emerald Green Opera Gloves. They're 12 pounds. So I know that these prices are discounted because these were actually 15. Um, holy moly, it is cutting off my blood supply. I feel like if this, was, if this was a blue, I would definitely feel like a nurse or a surgeon right now. Um, I can't, these are just so tight. Like they are cutting off my blood supply. I can't even put them on properly. They are just not a good fit or a good size at all. They've, I can't even get it off now. Oh my God, it's stuck. This is not stretchy at all. These are a big fat no. I really like the vibe and the idea of this. It looks really nice again on the model. Um, this top bit is way too big. Like I don't even know what's going on here. The ruching is making it look not great. Ruching down the side, the front, back, there is a hidden zip, but I could slip this on easily. Um, I find it a real big faff trying to sort out this part as well, like trying to get it all thingy, but it is just like loose. The colour's like a nice Kelly green, like the colour is lovely, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I don't think it looks that great. It's this top part. Maybe like here downwards it looks nice, it's fine. Kind of covers your stomach, it is double lined, it's not going to be see-through. It is quite movable, it's like quite stretchy and it is a split in the back which does help with like movement and that. Um, super flattering down the back. It is like a bit, look, extra material here. The zip's not the greatest, like it's not flat to my back. I think maybe it is a bit too big for me. I think I thought it might be too small though. Not looking the best on me. I think just it's a bit big overall. The sizing is a bit whack, not gonna lie. Right, I don't even have the energy to struggle to put this one on. I have tried before, right at the start of the haul, and just gave up and thought I'd come to it last because it was stressing me out. <laughs> so this is the Romancing Hot Pink Satin Bandu Corset Maxi Dress with Fire Split. Again, they need to cut down these names. <laughs> Size 16, and this is £96, and that's obviously with discount. I can't even get this done up for a size 16, for starters. It looks gorgeous on the model, which is why I picked it up. The pink is gorgeous, the satin material is lovely. This corset detailing, again, super nice. It would be super flattering had it fit me. I don't know what the hell is going on <laughs> from here downwards. Obviously, it is too tight on my thighs and hips. Um, there's not like tons of stretch, it is double lined. But yeah, this is obviously just a big fat no. Like, it's only staying up because there's corset detailing. Like, this top bit is lovely turn around this is the big problem like this zip would not even get done up it does sort of show my cellulite on my bum but obviously um it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be actually thinking about it you're gonna see my nick knocks that's the problem because you can see right through there um again it drags on the floor it's kind of like an okay length because you would be wearing it with heels anyway so it's not too big of a deal i'm five foot four for reference for all these dresses again just a fail for me it's a no in my pjs i don't really know how to take this brand to be honest i will say there were a lot of fails for me i did have really high expectations and i think maybe that was part of the problem um but obviously it's a new brand i've never tried it before i will say they do have some lovely pieces like they look stunning on the model they've got some really nice patterns they've got nice prints nice colors and i do think like there is something for everyone on that website and i love the fact they go up to a uk 20 they do have plus size section. They've got a maternity section as well. So yeah, I do feel like as a company and a brand, they're doing very well, like in that aspect. But I do think sizing is a bit hit and miss. You know, there were a lot of items that weren't flattering on me, but then again, I have tried new, some new styles there. I have tried things I wouldn't normally try, like that pink set at the start. Nothing I would usually go for. The items that did fit, I do really like, and the colors, again, stunning. I will leave all the items down below in the description box if you want to check any of them out. Let me know which was your favourite. Let me know if you've tried this brand and how you've got on with it before. And yeah, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. And let me know if there's any other brands that you would love for me to try. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications as well so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.